Hi, welcome to episode 78, and today we'll be talking about saving passwords the easy way. So stay tuned. Quite often, I see individuals with their passwords on sticky notes or on just a sheet of paper that's just sitting on their desk uh, or some of them are even stuck on the laptop. Like their main login is actually stuck on the laptop. So um, it's quite scary because if someone takes the laptop, like boom, I can log right in. Now I have access to everything and chances are the login, the passwords are probably already saved in the browser. So they can log into the computer, go into the browser, go into their bank account, auto login and boom, right? It gets really scary. So don't do that, right? And if you are doing it, don't feel bad because I'm giving you a solution right now. There are a lot of tools out there that can save your passwords and be able to to log in for you so but you might think well that sounds kind of scary you're giving your, your logins to a third party to another another area but what's scarier right having on sticky notes or having on a laptop where someone can just take that information really easily or storing it in an area where it's highly encrypted where it's hard to break in um, where most hacks happen is when the logins are too easy or they're using the same logins everywhere they go. So when one site gets compromised, which you hear all the time, right? Like company, even big companies like, you know, LinkedIn got ha uh, hacked, um, uh, you know, Home Depot got hacked, uh, you know, like all these big companies get hacked all the time. So when one of your accounts on those sites get hacked, guess what? They have their username and, and password. What do you think the hacker's going to do next? They're gonna take it and they're gonna try it on all these other sites to see if it works. And for most people, they it, you know they, they keep they keep the same login. So how do you prevent that, right? Um, the other option is okay, well, let's have different logins for everything. Well then the problem is trying to remember everything. So what will uh, the best solution for the two is to have a tool that does that and keeps track of everything. So tools like LastPass, which is the tool I, that I use, or 1Password, uh, which is another some very similar tool. It keeps track of all the passwords. All I have to remember is 1Password, and, and that there's, there's browser extensions, there's an app on my phone I can pull up. I just remember 1Password, and then I can look up that account like, oh yeah, what is my login to my bank? Or what is my login to, to this particular website? I can pull it up, and the, the tool, like LastPass or 1Pass, can tell me, okay, this is the login credential for that. So hope this helps. Definitely go with this route rather than just writing on a sticky paper, uh, sticky note and sticking on the laptop. Don't do that. All right. See you next time. Bye.